Giovanna Maimon is entering her third season as an assistant at Texas A&M. Maimon took over the program along with new head coach Garrett Chadwell in 2021, and with their help, the Aggies have made back-to-back -back trips to the national semifinals. My coaching style is like, it's very different for each person. So what each person needs is what I'm gonna give them. Her passion for the sport was second nature. Maimon was born and raised in Mexico City. Her family has always been a top priority and there's always been a favorite hobby passed down through the generations. My dad has played golf ever since he was a baby too. And my whole family plays golf. Every single member of my family, my four grandparents, my mom, my sister, my brother-in-law, everybody. It's crazy because people, you see three-year-old babies and you're like, how is it that three-year-old started playing golf? And I actually swung the club when I was three. Working her way through high school, academics were another major focus. So college golf was never a question. With her sister Maria at TCU, Giovanna chose another Big 12 school, Baylor. The coach had seen me play since I was like 12 years old. So I think that's the main reason why I was like so drawn to it. The campus, but the people were super important to me. Her freshman season with the Bears nearly ended with a national championship. Maimon secured a victory in the title match, but Baylor came up one point short. I don't think I've ever cried that much in my life with how when we lost, but it's just like, I think we had such a good like group of people, like group of girls. We get along so well. And we had the five of us knew that we could count on each other. After her time in Waco, Maimon headed to South Alabama. There she earned two master's degrees with a 4.0 GPA, but she also uncovered an interest in coaching. While that wasn't always the plan, things changed after her time as a grad assistant. I thought that I can make a good impact on people during this age. So when I went to Alabama, that's when I realized, okay, I'm doing my master's, but I actually really like what I'm doing. For Maimon, the profession isn't just measured by the scorecard. There's a lot more than just the coaching part. Um, which I think at the end of the day is because you look for the person and not the player and you want to develop and see where that person goes. While Maimon's career is just getting started, she'll never forget where it began. I've always been proud of being Mexican and representing Mexico, like representing my country and doing everything the right way. My whole family still lives there. I mean, I'm from there and you're super, there's so many good things about Mexico and sometimes we get caught up on the bad that you forget all the great things that we have. But I hope my presence here can help some people see where we can go and, um, and I can help them out through everything.